Welcome to your mechanic today here in Mechanic. We have a 2015 Ford Focus, and this Ford Focus has a 2.0 liter motor in it, and we're going to go over the process to be able to replace your alternator. So the alternator on this vehicle, and on this, this particular Ford Focus and the 2.0 engine, is uh, straight down here. It will be able to um, go out the bottom. We do have the one bolt on top here, as well as the stud that we will remove to make it a lot easier to be able to bring it out the bottom. Um, we have the electric connection that goes in there, and so um, once we free the bolts and we kind of move the alternator a little bit, we should be able to have enough space that we would need to undo the uh, electrical connector and the, the battery cable that connects to it. All right, so to start with, uh, you would have uh, disconnected your negative battery cable so that we don't have any power to the vehicle and we don't uh, shock ourselves. And then we need to uh, take the belt off at least. Um, I am going to just remove this uh, tensioner also, just to give more space. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it just it depends on how much space you like to work with. So we have our tensioner. Let's put our 14 millimeter uh, ratchet on here, and then be able to pull the belt off. of the pulleys there. Now that'll just hang out down there. Two 10 millimeter bolts here to undo, to get our um, tensioner off and out of the way. The bottom bolt, top bolt, There we go. And so now that tensioner is off out of the way and it gives us some more space to work down in, in there. So we have the, the alternator here and the alternator ha has a bracket that is built into the casting of the alternator. So we need to undo this um, nut here and then we can also back out this um, stud here so that this will just be able to move straight down and we don't have to fight it to get it around those so 14 millimeter. Oh, that's it. Thirteen millimeter to free the nut. And now you need a five millimeter to get on this top side of the uh, stud there and to be able to um, remove the stud. All right, we have the stud um, undone to be able to remove it. And we'll set that aside. And now we can go down from below and uh, loosen the uh, two number 13 bolts that hold the alternator to the vehicle. And then we should be able to have enough space to be able to undo the two electric lines to the uh, alternator itself. Okay, so we have the two bolts here. They go into the engine block there. Okay, so we have the two bolts removed. Now you can see the alternator is ready to basically come out, but we do need to undo. There is one electrical connector up top there. They need to be able to squeeze and then be able to undo a 13 millimeter on the top side there. So, let's work that out. All 
Okay. I got the uh, connector depressed and unhooked. And now it's just a matter of moving our alternator down through this cavity here. And that is our removed alternator. So uh, the alternator has been removed and now we are to the stage where we can put a new one back on or a good. And I need to yeah, push it up through here, get it up in there, kind of set it in there, and then make sure we connect the electric connections a little bit before we exact, uh, start tightening it on. Because when it's all um, set where it really goes, it's hard um, or fairly impossible to be able to make those connections uh, due to the tight spot that it's in. Okay, darn it, sitting in there, pretty close to setting it up in there, and now going to take the electric connections. Okay, have enough. So that's the, uh, you gotta be able to raise it up and press on the one connector, and then we'll come back to the other one. Okay, so we line up that connection and then we have the electric connector there I'm gonna go get the uh, the nut to put on there and the little rubber boost does work whether you do this part from down here or um, you can do it from up above but we put that the battery cable on there and now I'm going to tighten it up it's a size 13. Okay, that's uh, tightened. Now we put the, uh, there's a little rubber cap boot to put on top there keep the moisture out and now we can raise and get this alternator um, basically in place and start the uh, 13 millimeter bolts that hold it on from the bottom. Okay, before I go ahead and tighten those completely, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, stud in a little bit, make sure that that starts in, and then we'll tighten these and then go back from up top. Okay, so the stud is uh, in, it's not completely tightened up yet, but it's just in enough to make sure that everything lines up before we go ahead and tighten everything down here. Okay, it's tight. I'm tight this one. Okay, and those are really tight. Let's just put this clip back on this hose. All right, that's uh, pretty much all we need to do from down here for the moment. So we'll move up top. All right, so up top here, we gotta finish um, putting this uh, stud in. That's it. And now we have our 13 millimeter um, nut. Tighten that into place, and now we need to put the uh, tensioner back on so that we can go ahead and put our belt on. 
So we have the tensioner. Line up the top there with this little uh, lining port. Start the top bolt. We'll start the bottom bolt and then tighten them up. Got that one. And two bolts are tight. Now we can uh, put our serpentine belt back on. Put the uh, serpentine belt back on, loosen the tension there, be able to wrap it around the MML diagram and uh, around the alternator. And then, if there was any other components that you removed, um, being if you had a, a cover piece on top of here or whatnot, then uh, you put that back on, um, rehook up your uh, negative battery cable, and then um, you should be good to go. Uh, start the vehicle, test it, and make sure that everything is still charging and doing what it needs to do. So that's how you would replace your alternator on a 2015 Ford Focus. Uh, more importantly, on a 2.0 liter engine in your Ford product vehicle. Thank you for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.